medical dialogues or daily dose of health and medical news. I'm Roshni Dhar. Let's look at today's top headlines. Delhi cases dip government to bring up easing restrictions with LG. India's cases surge falls with 3.06 lakh new infections, 439 deaths in 24 hours. Delhi reported 9,197 COVID cases on Sunday at a positivity rate of 13.32%. As a little over 69,000 tests were conducted in the city, the positive rate on Saturday stood at 16.36%. Last week, the positive rate stood at 27%. The Delhi government, which is in favour of easing the restrictions that were imposed in view of the increased cases earlier this month, is expected to bring it up with LG Anil Bejal again in the DDMA meeting this week. Pay annual DNB course fee directly to NBE, NADBO tells NEET PG candidates. The recent notice the National Board of Examinations has informed about the payment of first-year course fee at the time of joining Diploma or DNB seat at NBEMS Aristotelated Hospital. The counselling for admission to Diploma and DNB courses of NBEMS for admission session 2021 is being conducted by the Medical Counselling Committee of DGHS, Government of India, along with the counselling for MDMS PG Diploma seats. It is hereby clarified that NEET PG 2021 qualified candidates who are allotted Diploma DNB seats at NDMS Aristotelated Hospitals are required to pay the first year course fee directly to National Board of Examination in Medical Science. Patient not given treatment, five day delay in COVID 19 report, hospital told to pay rupees 5 lakh compensation. Bengal based Jagannath Gupta Institute of Medical Science and Hospital in Bajbaj has been ordered to pay a compensation of Rupees 5 lakh to the patient's family for keeping the patient in the hospital without providing him treatment. The order was issued by West Bengal Clinical Establishment regularly commissioned on Friday. The family members of the patient alleged that the patient was driven out and turned on by the hospital when his COVID positive reports arrived after almost five days. Apple and Milan lose USSC bids to challenge patent review rule. The US Supreme Court last week turned back challenges by Apple and drug maker Milan Laboratories Limited to rule challenge that made it harder to contest patents before the US Patent and Trademark Office. The internal rule adopted in 2020 under former PTU director Andrea Ankyu gives judges at the agency patent trial and appeal board greater discretion to reject challenges to the validity of specific patents. Apple and Vitrus Inc. owned generic drug maker Mylan argued in the Supreme Court petitions that the rule undermines IPR rules in improving the integrity of US patent system. That's all for today. Thank you. Stay safe. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe, and press the bell icon.